I got a witness here. Your miracle demands your effort. Oh, God will do his part. But he'll only do his part after you do your part. Well, I got to leave you here this morning. But we see that God strengthens him. Verses 5 through 8. We see that God searches him. Verses 9 through 14. Yes, I said that the difference in where you are and where God wants you to be is in you making a decision. Well, I can hear the words of a song that Mary Mary put out some time ago. The song entitled, Go Get It. The song says uh, that it's all right to crawl before you walk and it's all right to walk before you run but if you want to get what you've never got you've got to do something you've never done go get it go get your blessing am i talking to anybody that feels fatigued am i talking to anybody that has a flawed focus Am I talking to anybody that feels overwhelmed? Well, you can make a decision to stay where you are. Feel sorry for yourself. Or you can make a decision to get up and go get your blessing. Anybody here want to make a decision to get up? And go get your blessing. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I, I don't know how you feel about it. I don't know what you might need from the Lord. But why don't you get up and go get your blessing? Have I got a witness? Is it anybody here that know if you do your part, God will do his part? Have I got a witness? But wait a minute. Let me say one more thing. If you're going to get up and go get your blessing, that means that you got to believe that God got greater in store for your life and if you believe that God got greater in store for your life why don't you praise him in advance yes yes put a praise on your blessing put a praise on your miracle put a praise on your breakthrough put a praise on your destiny is there anybody here that can praise God in advance before you see it give him a praise before it's manifest give him a praise before you can touch it give him a praise have I got a witness well I'm waiting on a true praiser to tell the Lord thank you Lord for what you're getting ready to do have I got a witness the old deacons used to say now Lord if you do this we'll be so careful to give your name the praise but can I tell you something whether he do it or not he still deserves your praise can I tell you something he don't operate on your calendar or on your time watch have I got a witness whenever he shows up look at somebody and say it's always right on time have I got a witness God strengthens him God searches him but verses 15 through 18 God 
against him. Have I got a witness? Is it anybody? Is it anybody that know God will send you after he strengthened you, after he searched you? Have I got a witness here? What do you think God sent him to do? He sent him to be a witness to let somebody know that it is no secret what God what God can do what he done for others he'll do it for you is it anybody here that God can trust you in order to send you to be a witness about his goodness about his grace I dare you to find a neighbor and say neighbor God is still able to make all grace abound toward you God is still passing out mercy for your misery God is still passing out grace for your goof ups have I got a witness I want to tell you as I leave you today that every now and then we'll feel like Elijah every now and then our backs will be up against the wall every now and then we'll be between a rock and a hard place but I want you to know that we serve a God who not only pull us out but he'll get in the hard place and sit there with us and let us know that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper do you believe it today do you believe it today tell somebody into each life some rain must fall tell a neighbor grab a neighbor's hand and say neighbor every now and then God gotta let it rain he gotta let you fall he gotta let you hit rock bottom but just understand goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life have I got a witness I feel all right here now tell somebody goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and when God yes when God strengthen you when he's searching you when he sends you back out he want you to tell somebody it is no secret what God can do won't he do it for you is it anybody here that know he's a deliverer is it anybody here that know he's a miracle worker is it anybody here know he's a sustainer know he's a redeemer know he's a burden bearer know he's a heavy load sharer anybody here know that he got power to turn it around come on and turn with me look at a neighbor say God 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 is getting ready to turn it around what you gonna tell him when he turn it around what you gonna tell him when he make a way out of no way what you gonna tell him when he give you the miracle that you've been praying for oh Lord, I thank you. Come on, get a little practice in. Lift holy hands. Tell the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Should have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. But Lord, I thank you. Yeah. For one more chance. Yeah. For one more blessing. Yeah. 
but one more opportunity ah, yeah. hug somebody and I promise I'll let you go hug somebody if you don't mind shake somebody's hand rock them and shake them shake them and rock them and say neighbor I don't know what you need but wait on the Lord be of good courage he may not come when you want him to ah, he's on time ah, Won't he show up? Won't he see about you? Won't he come to your rescue? If you know he's able, if you know he's good, say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! Ah! He's good in spite of my burdens. He's good in spite of my problems he's good in spite of my deficiencies he's good in spite of my flaws and faults ah! 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 somebody and say he's good anyhow don't give up now he's good anyhow don't let your problems don't let your burdens 